Whoever came up with the term liquid natural gas is a genius. Gas, of course, is almost as toxic as thermal coal, almost as damaging to Australia's emissions future, to the world's emissions future, as our emissions from thermal coal. Yet, liquid natural gas has had a much better run. Gas has had a much better run. It's now being touted as Australia's transition fuel to the renewable energy future. This is basically the result of heavy duty lobbying by some of the biggest companies in the world, Shell, Exxon, the Australian multinational Santos, Origin, BHP. Gas is a massive industry and Australian gas prices are through the roof. These guys get their way the whole time. And part of the reason they do is because they are among the largest donors to both major parties, not just the Liberals and Nationals, but Labor also. We have an excellent expose by Callum Foote this week on the gas sector, on the fact that the latest advisors to the government on the energy roadmap for Australia are the chief executive of Macquarie Bank and a former chief executive of Origin Energy. Right at this moment, Shamara and Grant King, these two people who are now advising the government on energy, advising Angus Taylor, the energy minister, on policy, are involved in a multi-billion dollar gas deal right at this moment, and the government appoints them as the two new advisors on the energy roadmap. I mean, how conflicted can you possibly get? One gas company, one bank, which does a lot of gas deals worldwide. It's just insanity in terms of conflict of interest. Callum also goes on to describe all the Labor Party links to the gas industry. Now, there is a divide in the Labor Party between the Green side of the Labor Party and the workers' side representing people who work in fossil fuel industries. So there's internal dissension, which makes it very difficult for the leader, Anthony Albanese, to juggle in terms of policy. So that's why he has not come out strongly against the government's policy of backing gas as the transition fuel. What is happening here is the development of a carbon bomb in Australia, where the government, motivated and whipped up by the gas lobby, are intending to open up three new basins in Australia, the Betaloo, the North Bowen, and the Galilee uh, Basin in Queensland, to fracking for gas. If this happens, a car, the carbon emissions will just go through the roof. It is a disaster environmentally. And it all comes back to the money, political donations, Origin Energy, Shell, Exxon, BHP, both major parties, they're on the same ticket when it comes to gas. And Australia's emissions this year are likely to be higher from gas than from coal. It would seem then that gas is to Labor what coal is to the Coalition.